Welcome back to the channel. Today I have all the adjustable billet suspension for the red Hellcat Magnum. And if you have been watching the channel, you already know that the blue Hellcat Magnum, which is all wheel drive, has all of AAD performance suspension already on it. And when we went to the drag strip in the red Hellcat Magnum last week, we actually had some wheel hop, which turned into wheel spin, which then turned into a lot slower times. The great thing about AAD Performance's rear kit is it's anti-wheel hop, which means you're going to put all the power down to the ground. Also, it has eccentric lockouts for your toe arms, which also means your alignment is, isn't going to come out of spec under hard acceleration because sometimes the eccentric bolts, everybody knows, even though they're torqued down, it's 700, 1,000 horsepower, whatever it is, the more horsepower you're putting through to the rear wheels, it's gonna to want to walk those eccentric bolts and your alignment is going to go out of spec. <sighs> Nothing like having a wagon. Hellcat. The issue with Hellcats is there isn't much adjustability in the front suspension. So really when you're getting alignment done, most of the time, all you can have them do is move the front subframe side to side if it isn't centered. And if uh, alignment shop doesn't know that, if you have some discrepancies after installing all these suspension components and it's a hair off and your tracking is off, so if your front to rear tracking is off, both subframes move side to side and front to back just a hair. So it's just something I recommend, have a good alignment shop align these cars because they go very fast and you don't wanna have any dog tracking on a Hellcat because performance wise, that's never a good idea. So let's get these upper control arms and I have these arms right here and the lower control arms too. So both these are lower control arms, but that is, um, I believe this is like a lateral lower control arm. It's like the Mustang. So uh, too bad the Hellcats never did a single pickup point, but eventually I'm sure somebody will design something that works.
thing I would recommend is holding the knuckle up with some zip ties because you don't want it to be pulling on your brake line because this is going to want to droop all the way back and forward and it's going to put a lot of stress on this brake line since I have stainless steel ones I didn't want to end up ruining them so now what you need to do is you need to come in here this is the most difficult part of the whole thing and now what you need to do is you need to come in here and remove these bolts right here and these hold the lower these hold the upper control arms in and they also have that tab on there so they just slide right out and then the lower control arm comes out so you can see right here this is not the right one so we have these backwards and this is the right one. So before you go and try to install the upper control arms, these are all billet now. They have spherical bearings. They're a lot more rigid. So what I'm gonna recommend and what I always do is you break loose these four nuts right here. And these will have a little bit more play and then they'll slide right in. You can also get them to slide in, but this just makes it so much easier. So all you do is just crack these things loose Now you can see it has a little bit of just movement, which is great. And now this is just gonna slide right in. And you can see that little bit of movement is gonna allow it to slide in so much easier and we're not gonna have any issues. It slides in too easy. I think my Milwaukee side impacts on its last last legs. completely up to you. I like to put them on there because I don't want any of my suspension to get messed up or my brake lines. And then this just comes in like it would on the factory. And this is really tight. So you're gonna wanna kinda finesse it to the right angle. So it will go in. Then all you do is put the new nut on there for the upper control arms is really straightforward. Like I said, I would torque them.
All right, she's back on the ground. Everything is buttoned up. An alignment on a Hellcat, and he does a really good job. So I can't wait to finally have this thing aligned. And it also looks like everything with the AAD. So right now I have the zero shims in. It looks like I have about zero toe, which is great because I have the eccentric lockouts. And it almost looks like I have zero camber, which is really nice too, because the less camber you have in the rear, the more tire that's on the ground. So we'll get more traction. Plus he'll set everything up with the toe and the caster and all that stuff. First impressions of this, all this suspension on here is it is a lot tighter than the stock stuff. You can tell instantly I have it in track mode. So all the suspension and coilovers or the struts are as firm as they can be. And you could definitely tell the difference from 100% stock to this. It's just like, it's not even aligned yet. The alignment should be pretty close because we didn't mess with any toe settings really, but she's driving perfect. Just right out of the box. All the suspension is now updated on the red Hellcat Magnum and tomorrow I have an alignment scheduled. Luckily enough, I have a friend that started working at a Subaru dealership that's local in town and Dodge seems to always be one to two months out on any appointment. So luckily enough, he said, just bring it by. It seems like they don't have very much work at the Subaru dealership. And he's done all my race car alignments before, so he does a really thorough job. But I'm really happy that all the suspension is now updated, besides the rear lower control arms, which I'm still going to update once Parker gets them to me. Big shout out to AAD Performance. I will put a link in the description, but, until the next video, we will get her aligned and then I can do some pulls. Hopefully I can make it to the last drag race event because there should only be one more for Halloween and we'll see what she runs at the track with just all brand new suspension and set up a little bit better than she was before. But I'm going to end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.